Hello everyone. I just did a series of videos where I used each one of these cocktail shakers and I wanted to do a comparison video about them. Obviously, I'm not a professional bartender. I am a home bartender. But if you're looking for a comparison or you're looking for a better cocktail shaker, then this is an honest review of these cocktail shakers. It's my personal opinion. I don't get any kickbacks from any of these companies. Okay, now for the review. Um, let's start with this Libby glass shaker. I didn't think I was gonna actually like this shaker, but actually I really like it a lot. It's a little bit heavy. Um, I like that um, if you drop it, most likely it's not gonna break, but I like a weighted cocktail shaker. The strainer in the top is a little bit large, but that's okay. I really like this one for camping and taking on trips. It's easy to clean and does a great job with eggy cocktails and pineapple cocktails. The only thing I don't like about this shaker is that you can't use your Hawthorne strainer with it and the strainer isn't great. Uh, if you saw my Strawberry Campari Jungle Bird video where I used this shaker, then you saw me struggle with this one a little bit. I do like that it's weighted. Um, I like the pattern on the side. That's really cool. It's very tiki. Um, it's easy to get all loaded up and it locks really well. But honestly, I struggle with Boston shakers like this in the first place. That's just me. Overall, I did like it. It's just that it's a little bit hard to get open. The Bloomingville Japanese style cocktail shaker. I didn't like this one either but I tend to like the glass cobbler shaker, the Japanese style shakers better. This one has a rubber ring around the top that doesn't always match up. If you're doing eggy cocktails in the top, this tends to pop off. So you really do have to hold on to it. Uh, but overall, I actually liked this shaker. I think it's a beautiful design. It's petite for uh, my hands. It did great with eggy cocktails and pineapple cocktails. Um, it's great for decorating. Uh, it's great for traveling. It's also weighted because of the glass, which I like. Really not too bad. The Visky Warren French style shaker. I used this when I did the April Fool's parody video of Vino Valentino at 60 Second Cocktails. I like the basic principle of this shaker, but I really struggled to get it open. And if you don't lock it down all the way, it's easier to get open. But honestly, you got to lock your tins. Um, I really like that it's a cool looking shaker. I like the gunmetal color. It's not weighted, so it's really loud when you're shaking with it. And I just don't really like that. The elevated craft tin. This one has a screw off top and it has measurements inside of the lid. Uh, the actual strainer top comes off as well. It's an amazing shaker. Uh, it's insulated. Uh, for me, it's a little bit big for my hands uh, when I'm shaking with it. Um, I can imagine that you take it on a camping trip. You could shake a cocktail in it and go for a walk and have a cold cocktail all ready to go. I didn't care for the strainer too much in the top, um, especially when you're doing eggy cocktails or pineapple cocktails. That's a little bit difficult. But other than that, there is nothing to complain about with this shaker. It's a great cocktail shaker. The Yari glass Japanese style cocktail shaker. I always gravitate, like I said, to um, Japanese style or cobbler cocktail shakers. I like them a lot. They fit well in my hands. Um, the um, lid is a little bit difficult to get off at times. I sometimes have to bang that on the side of the countertop. The strainer in the top's not super great, but it is useful. Uh, you can use your Hawthorne strainer in the top of this. Um, so sometimes I'll use this over this. It's just a personal choice. Of course, if I'm working at a bar, I'm sure I wouldn't use any of these. I would just use a Boston shaker, but that's not what this review is about. So let's recap 
and um, go over what I think is the overall thumbs up, number one best of all of these cocktail shakers. Each one of these cocktail shakers is very different and I'm always gonna say that the Japanese cobbler shaker is my favorite for home use. I would say that the second is the Elevated Craft and the third is gonna be this Libby glass shaker actually. Out of these three, each one has a very different use. It's personal preference really. But I can tell you that I'm taking the Libby glass shaker camping with me and the Elevated Craft I'm taking with me traveling in my little mini bar that I take with me. Uh, okay, thanks for sticking in there with me on this one. I know it was a little bit longer of a video. Uh, I hope it was helpful and hedged your decision if you're looking for a new cocktail shaker. Uh, let me know what kind of cocktail shaker you're using at home or what your favorite cocktail shaker is in the comments below. I would love to hear about that. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you for watching and I will see you on Friday for another great cocktail video. Be well.